He would have made a miserable cripple. Such a short coffin for a boy so tall. What you want, Clyde? Bye, Mr. Thornberry. Where the hell you think you're going? You got work to do. I ain't doing nothing. I'm quitting. Look, I know that nice young man didn't die in no accident. I know it. I can't prove it. But I know what I know. Then good riddance. You know a gung organ freak. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Get the hell out of here and stay out, you pervert! <laughs> Who could that be at this ungodly hour? this time of the night. I don't know what's going on around here. Who's there? What do you want, you goddamn hooligans? Damn, people always mess with me. I don't understand what's going on around here. They're always talking and saying things. on Clyde, wherever you are. You think you can come crawling to beg for your job back? Well, then you can go to hell. You trying to scare me, Clyde? Is that it? I got news for you. I don't scare easy. Takes a lot more than you got, that's for sure. Like it's <laughs> 
says in the Bible, Uncle Ezra, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This can't be happening. Somebody, somebody help me! Looks like old Ezra learned raising a teen is no walk in the graveyard. Now he's going to need one of his cheap coffins for himself. That's what he gets for having a name like Ezra. As for poor Bobby, he got a pretty nasty case of athlete's foot, didn't he? I mean, I've heard of footloose, but yikes! Oh well, I guess the next best thing to making a goal is becoming a ghoul. Right, kitties?